New research has scientists concerned about a potential imminent supervolcanic eruption, which could result in a volcanic winter. I kid you not. This is the last thing we need to worry about right now, considering we may be on the verge of World War III, considering economy, considering all the social unrest in America and around the world right now. Holy walking smoke and money, guys. Seriously, according to this new research, uh, the capstone over Capi Foregi is uh, stretched almost to the breaking point. And they think this thing could go. Uh, now, it's not always erupted as a super volcano, but it's had several very large eruptions. It has a magma chamber big enough to do the job of a, uh, of a super volcanic eruption. And it's thought that it exploded uh, and wiped out potentially one of the contributing factors that may have wiped out in the Neanderthal people uh, 42, 43,000 years ago. A super volcanic eruption then plunged the world into a global volcanic winter. Very severe one. It lasted for maybe 10 years. Very long, severe winter time for the world. So guys, this is not something to take lightly, especially now that oh, th th there's millions of people live right around it. Naples, Italy, for example. Holy smoke, guys. I'm going to show you some stuff here. We're going to go straight to the, the articles because I kid you not, I'm not making this up. I mean, are we like in biblical times or what, guys? Here we are, Campi Floregi. It is uh, thought that it might, as I said, cause a global winter. So I tell you, I don't make these things up. <laughs> Hang on, guys. I got to change my screen here a little bit so I can advance the tabs. So there we are, guys. This is, if, if you know what? If you're not prepping, you better consider it now because what happens when you got a global winter? You're not growing food for a few years, not unless you're growing indoors or greenhouses. That's a good thing to do. So for greenhouse, but you can also store some food. Go to prepwithgreg.com. Right now we got a eighty dollars off deal with a four week supply, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, two thousand calories a day. A deal to make you want all kind of other prepping supplies here too. And if you can't handle that, we got a two week supply. But get your beans and rice, and uh, get seed. Go to True Leaf Market. I got links to that below too. True Leaf Market. You better get a bunch of seed to have something to plant when the winter blows off. So, so given that you make it that long, my friends. So um, how come this thing don't want to move? Yeah, so the last eruption was in the last big eruption in 1538. So a lot of people have moved into that area since this time. So this is what they're saying here, guys, that the, the crust has become weaker. Uh, so they got a new unique model that's been measuring ground uplift and uh, seismic activity. And they have found that this thing is on the verge of going. See, it's become weaker, more prone to rupturing making the eruption more likely. And they're talking about a potential imminent uh, rupture. So it's been restless for the last 70 years. And that restlessness is apparently on the end of crease, my friends. So uh, what you need to know then is that, uh, uh, yeah, there's been seismic activity spikes of unrest in the 1950s, in the 70s, in the 80s. Uh, and, and over the last decade, tens of thousands of smaller earthquakes have occurred during these periods, and the coastal town of Pozzuoli, which is right on top of it, uh, has been lifted nearly four meters or 13 feet, which is about the height of a double-decker bus. Can you imagine living in a town and your, your whole town goes up about the level of a double-decker bus? So this is something uh, to take seriously, my friends. Uh, there's a lot of articles. There's, they've been coming up with a lot of stuff about this over the last couple of weeks, including like yesterday, it's more and more articles and analysis on this potential eruption coming up, guys. So, yeah, that just says the same thing I just uh, mentioned to you. <laughs> so let's kind of look at some of the more recent. This is from uh, Smithsonian Institute. Uh, this is some of the more recent eruptions. Uh, these do not go back to the eruption of uh, what we thought might have taken out the Neanderthal people, which was probably a uh, VEI seven or eight type eruption. Uh, you can see there's been plenty of fours and threes. And in fact, let's see the last one in uh, 1538 was a three. These are confirmed eruptions. They think an eruption of this size could indeed cause uh, 
like a hundred uh, meter, a uh, hundred foot or hundred meter, what was it? A tsunami. Uh, I get kind of, I'm not looking at the data right now, but a very significant tsunami that could come out of this, which would be larger than the Bonaachi uh, one that wiped out uh, something like a quarter of a million people uh, a few years ago in Indonesia and the coast of India and that area. So this could be very, uh, you know, uh, Krakatoa caused similar tsunamis when it went off. So guys, this is something to pay attention to. Uh, so this uh, caldera is actually 12 to 15 kilometers across. I see, uh, they can see, and it's not a mountain. This is a depression like Yellowstone. It's a super uh, volcano because it's got a caldera area. And you can see uh, in the Bay of Pizzuli, the, the town of Pizzuli is on top of it. And Naples is right close to it. So uh, it's got about uh, 360,000 people. I think that's Pizzuli because Naples is a lot larger, my friends. So this is a very potentially uh, destructive volcano. There's some only active super volcano in Europe. They said in, uh, in 1538, it actually rose 66 feet before it eruptured. But for some strange reason, they actually think it is on the verge of going now. So I won't go into any more details on that, my friends, but that's what they're claiming. And oh yeah, by the way, just for good measure, Yellowstone don't want to be left out. We've discovered it's got far more melted rock than we thought. All right, enough said. I'm not going to go through a zillion charts with you guys. Here's the bottom line. They say this thing could go off. Will it? It may go off as a VE3, VE4, and it may not give us a win. But remember, Pinatubo cooled our climate when it went off. And it did not go off as a super volcano but it was a very powerful volcano. So we can't afford that right now. Right now, the food supplies in our world are stretched thin, especially considering a lot of our uh, fertilizers come from Ukraine and Russia, and we're not getting that anymore. Also considering the breadbasket of Europe and North Africa being uh, Ukraine is much in jeopardy right now. And it said the Russians have reneged on the grain deal. They're not going to be allowed anything else to get shipped out. They've got uh, food issues in China right now between droughts and floods and alternate bands of China, which is wiping out their crops. And overall, the global crop harvest seems to be down, including right here in America due to drought. So it's, it's like we don't have enough problems. A volcanic winter would really put the icing on the cake, the icing of ice. And it would not be a pretty one. So, guys, this is why you need to be taking preps very seriously right now. I, you know, that I, you think of a super volcano as going off ever so many tens of thousands of years. So it's like, okay, we don't really have to worry about that in our little lifetimes. But it seems like uh, when it comes, it comes in bunches. Like everything comes to head at once. It's like the ultimate climax of all human civilization. Uh, where everything's got to happen at one time. Uh, so maybe this is harvest time, as it talked about in uh, the good book. So, you know, the wine, you know, the angels are treading the wine press. You know, I don't know what, what to think about it, guys. But seriously, uh, they think, this, there's a lot of these geologists who think that Campi Floregi may be on the verge of going. They're concerned about a global winter because there's so much magma in the magma chain are there. Take it or leave it. It's just one more straw on the camel's back, except this might be like a, a whole barn load dropped on the camel. So get ready, prepare. That's all I'm going to say on this topic tonight. So uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, bang the notification bell, and click all. And with that, I'm going to say good night <laughs> or good day. Thank you.